Okay, now it's recorded. Okay, uh, I would like to start with the functions, okay? The functions, okay, the functions. Uh, let me check and... Okay, when you learn on the functions, when we learn that the function is actually like rules or like a policy, something that we set up, okay? so something that we design, okay? And to put on, we call the variables inside the functions, we need to have domain, okay? So first thing is, is about domain. And there are, there are, I think, one, two, at least three, uh, three nodes, three important nodes on, on domain, okay? Okay, first, what you need to be aware of is when you have a rational, rational form or rational function, for example, let me put in, in terms of f and, and g, okay? Okay, when have this form, then the bottom part, we have some exceptions for that function to be defined we need g not zero, right? So we are going to have g is not zero. But perhaps if I take x, maybe it's, it's like ambiguous, like a function. Let me just take this as just f and g, okay? So f and g can be, can be any equations, okay? The second part, or second notes is when you have this uh, the square root. Well, inside you can have any equations. Let's just say h. Okay. And what need to be done here? Can it be equal zero? Yeah, it, it can be equal zero. So we can have this, right? So no worries about this part of the main, right? The third part, however, uh, it's not yet explained in our basic of math, but you will learn later. Uh, well, you, you have learned before, but we haven't yet studied in our courses now. It's, it's, it's the logarithm, okay? So this is also one factor that probably will affect the domain. So if we have log or ln, let me just write ln, or maybe log to, to make it more uh, normal and you have inside the log it can be any any equations maybe that's back to the f but make a capital f okay although we are not yet study this log but i will just make a sh uh, short cut a summary for you this part of log if you look on the graph uh, well, we'll we, are, we are going to discuss more later, but if you look on the graph, the logarithm never be, never be a, yes, negative. So it should be in a positive number, okay? And when you learn later on, because we have learned the inverse, okay, this is just a quick uh, or quick summary, that the log and the e, so if we have e to the x, and you have the log logarithm of natural numbers, we say the ln, right? Let's say ln x. These two are inverses. So if you would like to draw the ln, you can draw the e to the x, and then mirror through the y equal x, and that is your ln x. We are going to discuss more, but it will be later, but I will just show you just a, a little bit introductions. So it should be around like this, and then you have 
the y equal x. Uh, this is just my uh, my approximations. So this will be should be that, and this is, should be one. This also one. This is e to the x, and this is l and x, and they are inverses each other. Okay, just just FYI. Uh, the details will be late. Um, I think maybe two sections or two chapters after this one. Okay. So these three nodes for domain is the most the most common problem that you need to be aware of. Okay. Well, of course, the problem can be combined. So what will happen if we combine this? Then you need to searching the combination of okay. for example if we have if we have um, f over but this is square root of g then it's not the g should not be zero and it should be a positive but because of it is uh, rational then we need to have g is Okay. Okay, I hope that's clear. Okay. And of course, there will be many, many uh, combinations. But let me just take maybe two or three examples. Maybe two examples. Okay, two examples. And then we can work on uh, those examples. Okay. So uh, you can try. Fine domain of the function let me start from from x with power of 4 squared plus x minus 6. Okay, maybe these two questions first, and if we need more, maybe I will add one more. As I mentioned here, we are only be aware of these three things. 
usually for domain. When you have a rational form, then you need to focus on the denominator. Maybe this numerator is just your distraction. So focus on this g, okay? And if you have the square root, focus the one that is inside the square root, which, is, which can be any, any equation, right? So if we have this, then we are going to focus on this, okay? So what we need this to be defined, so it should not be equal to zero. But for calculations, again, this is just my suggestion, okay? If you feel like maybe in the middle of your calculation, maybe you feel confused, well, we just start our calculation, make this equal to zero, like your usual factorization. I think it's, it's better because sometimes when you did inequality or maybe not really an equation, like maybe not equal to something, some of you probably not really familiar. My suggestion is just take this like any equations you have. Okay? So let's just take let's just take this as our usual equations. Okay? This is just just a calculation, not really our solution. But let's just calculate first, okay? This is just normal factorization. Okay? I think you are able to factor, right? Able to factor. So this will be what? X minus 2 and X plus 3, right? Okay, now since this is, I think, pretty, pretty normal, <coughs> then we are having the, let's just say, if we have this equation, this will be the solution, right? X equal 2, X equal negative 3. Now, we don't want this 2 and negative 3 because it makes this 0. So that's why we just take this not equal, okay? But if you do normally, like this not equal 0, and you, you can state your final result as, um, as this not equal to and not equal to negative 3, I think it's still okay. This is just for your... Um, to make it more familiar, okay? to make it more easy to compute. Okay? And my, my other suggestions, aside using just like normal equation, is always using the line numbers. Whenever your equation become more complex and complicated, your line numbers will help you at least to find which way you are going to. Okay? So if we take this, Well, of course, it's, 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 the solution is just as it is. But if we have like more and more like compli complicated, this line number will help. Especially when you need to have, for example, the one that has positive or negative sign, we are going to know which one of them, okay, which one of the interval that is. Okay? But of course, in this qu question, we just simply say that domain is not equal to, or yeah, not equal to and not equal, negative three. Or if you want to make um, uh, notations, we can write Yeah, quite long, <laughs> but it's just the same thing. <laughs> Okay, now the second one, this is a square root, okay? Then we need to focus on the one that is under this square root, okay? So we want this equal to zero or greater than zero. Zero equal, uh, or uh, greater equal zero, okay? But 
we can just normally do the normal equation for, for perhaps this can be factorized easily so we can just do normal factorizations so we can take this and try to factor and make, make it equal zero try to factor what is this x minus four right and plus two right? and we know that the one that makes zero is four and negative two well okay but how do we make sh how do we do we confirm and make sure that we are correct right? sometimes if you put directly in our equations greater or equal sometimes you will have some small mistake that will make a wrong conclusion that's why the line numbers will help you to confirm whether your conclusion is correct or not okay so we can take this we can take negative 2 and 4 this is oh by the way we need to forget to, this is an open interval this is a closed interval okay then we can check for uh, for each interval well we can check the let's say uh, this is the equations right so check negative 3 negative negative it's positive right check 0 0 is negative okay check 5 it's positive okay okay right okay so and then don't forget why we are doing this because we want this to become zero or positive right so we want to look for the positive one okay 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 this one right so we can have domain is we can write x is less negative 3 or x is or it should be equal okay, because we need to have 0 or if we want to write in the interval we can write oh this should be include right and oh, it's, okay and for infinite Okay. Any question? Any question? No. Okay. So at least, okay, the structure, okay? The important thing is the structure, okay? The structure, okay? <clears throat> How to build up the, uh, the reasons, okay? Confirm with line numbers, and then you get to the conclusion, okay? Because sometimes, sometimes, uh, the function is simple, but when you look and when you confirm, you need to be careful. Be okay? careful. Okay. Now, since we are doing this line numbers from this domain, I would like to go back a little bit for some in inequality because uh, uh, what I've observed from your homework. There are a few, few things that need to be uh, improved, okay? especially when solve uh, inequality. Okay? Uh, well, I would like to, to, to go to inequality for a moment, and then we can go back to functions and uh, combinations and transformations. Okay? So I will give you the, uh, let's start with uh, I would like to try with, uh, wait, wait, okay, 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 I need to move to the next page. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Okay, solve the 
uh, inequality. Okay, let's start from uh, the first question, three. Let me just directly go through the this form, okay? Let's see if you can solve this inequality. Okay. Maybe make a little bit bigger. And perhaps for today's class, maybe we are not really going into full until the uh, three hours class. Maybe two or one and a half. Should be enough, should be enough. The rest, the rest of the class, I will try to compile through um, either videos or maybe some tutorial in, in a yeah, recording tutorial. So I would like to just focus on what you need to improve in, in from from your homework. You can try this, okay? Okay. Okay. Now, I think a, a few uh, important points to, for solving inequality is because we have variable x, right? We we don't know what's this x, right? Is it zero? Is it one? So it's best to avoid this cross multiply things. Okay. So so avoid all of that. Instead, we can try just to solve one by one and move into one side of equations. Because when you cross multiply, in the middle of the process, you will probably lose some solutions, okay? So try do doing this, okay? And then try just a normal, normal, rational, uh, rational things here. So we are going to have three X and then this part is going to be, let me make a bracket here. So we are going to have this. Okay. And this will be a negative four, negative uh, plus three, negative X or so X squared, negative X, uh, negative 12. So we are going to have 3x minus, uh, let me write x squared minus x minus 12. And still this is x, x plus 3. Just keep those. And then what else do we have? Uh, it's become negative x squared. 3x plus x, it's 4, right? It's 4. And then uh, plus, plus 12. And still keep the x, x plus 3. Okay. What you can do, however, I can multiply this with negative 1. Because I want to make this positive, okay? But you can just try to solve from this. But I, I, I just want to change the signs. So we have x squared, okay? Because we multiply with negative one, then this becomes less than zero or less than zero, okay? Okay, and then the numerator, we can factorize x 
minus 6 x uh, plus 2 right okay and this will be x x plus 3 less than 0 okay now what we are going to do next is we are going to take our line numbers okay and then the, the logical thinking of finding the we, we say let's say the critical point okay, which means that the numbers that it makes it zero or uh, let's say just make it zero okay, to, to, to make it easy for you if we look at this equations then six negative two zero and negative three are our option so let's just put all those numbers into our line numbers okay okay so that, that uh, they, they are all the numbers that makes the equation zero okay let's just let's just make those numbers and put into our equations so we are going to have uh, x negative three let me write here to make it easy for you okay so we put negative three negative two um, zero and six okay now our goals we need to find the interval which which interval that is fit with our inter uh, this inequality less than zero okay so we can try from negative four okay and perhaps for this maybe negative 2.5 and here maybe negative one, you can try. And here it's one, two, or three, you can try as well. So let's try to put a negative four, put negative four. Negative four is negative, uh, negative, it's become positive. Negative four, negative, it's positive, positive, it's a positive, right? It's positive. And then between negative three and negative two, Let's say it's negative 2.5. Let me erase this. If you if you are feeling not really confident multiplying the signs, you can do a table and you can write your um, your prediction, okay? Which numbers you are uh, applying to our equations, okay? That's just my, my suggestion. But if you can do it, just looking at this and you can just multiply the signs, it's okay. Because we are not really care much our multiplication number. We only care much on the signs, okay? So you don't really need to multiply the numbers, okay? Just multiply the signs. Okay, negative 2.5, it's negative. Uh, negative is positive. Negative, oh, it's positive. So it's negative, negative. Positive over negative, it's negative. Okay, okay. Uh, and now it's negative one. Negative, negative is positive, negative, positive. It's the same thing, it's negative. Or it's positive. Uh, with negative, oh, it's, it's negative, sorry, sorry. Negative, uh, positive, negative. Negative, positive, positive. So negative, negative. It's positive. And zero to six. Let's try a positive one. Positive one is negative. Positive, positive, positive. It's negative. So the way we look up here, or maybe try try seven here. I forgot one more. Seven is positive. Positive. It's positive. So we are going to have less than zero, so which means that this negative here, and then so negative three, negative two, and zero six. That will be our interval, our solution. So the solution. So the solution according to our line number will be this and or or zero to six. Or if you would like to write in an interval, oh, 
it's negative, sorry. Okay. Um. Okay, any questions? Any questions? Okay, is it clear for the inequality? Okay. So whenever you have this uh, forms like this, you have seems like rational forms. Both have the rational forms, okay? And perhaps it's it's quite a time thing, right? To, to cross this multiply and then you get directly the some quadratic function and then Perhaps the, the numbers are similar, right? The, the one that we get, the solution similar when you cross multiply. And maybe that's the reason that, okay, probably this is the solution. Okay. But re always remember, if we try to cross multiply x, we need to, to keep in mind why we, we are doing that. <laughs> so we need to know what kind of x this will be. Because if we cross multiply, if the x is not allowing that to be happen, then we will have the wrong conclusions, perhaps that is why it is not uh, be able to um, to to cross multiply. Okay, so so avoid cross multiply. Okay? Avoid cross multiply. Okay, next is we go back to functions, and I would like to emphasize some some things. Okay, uh, if we need more exercise later, we can. I think I give you some exercise, right? Yeah, you can work on that. <clears throat> or is it too, is it too easy? No? No, right? <laughs> uh, maybe not this, maybe from here. Okay, let, let's start from this, okay. Okay, this is a transformation function, okay? So we are, Having this blue function f, the, the blue color, we have four different other functions that is denotes by one, two, three, four with red cup. I suppose it's red, right? Yeah. yeah, red colors. Okay, so we have four equations here. Okay, let's wait for the bell. Perhaps 
we are, we can move faster. So let's just continue, okay? No, no break. Yes. Is that okay? Yeah. Or do you want? Okay? No. Too small? Nothing. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> if it's too small or maybe too bright, let me know. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. So now let's just continue and we can uh, finish this as soon as possible. Okay. So match each equation with this A, B, C, D. Okay. Okay, I think we can start with A. Two. F of x plus 2. two. Okay. Two. Peter said 2. Two. 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 Also 2. Any other answers? Okay, that's, okay, that's, that's correct. Okay. So, if you look at this A, what we have is we have a function and we plus the function. Okay. We plus the function. So it's easy to say that you have a function here and then plus the function. So you need to plus one, plus two, and okay, that's that's correct. It's the number two is number eight. <laughs> so before B and C, let's just move to D first because it has the same structure. So when we have negative four for D, which part of the functions in the picture? Four, right? Okay. So we go down four times, and this is the function. Okay. I think for the vertical one, we can just keep it simple. Whenever you see a plus or minus, then you go up or down. Okay. It is very simple. Okay. Now b at x plus three. Okay. Number one. Why? But, but it's going to the left. Yeah, 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 yeah. You could say that, but if you would like to confirm, if you would like to confirm, we can check with a simple function. Okay. Let's just say x squared. Okay. You could take x squared. Let's just say we take the. This is just to confirm. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. Uh, I'll, let me tell you the uh, suggestion or tips. Okay. Sometimes in, in exam, probably we will have some. Period of nervous, <laughs> nervous period, <laughs> and we are not really being focused. We are not really calm, and maybe we are messy in our head. So what you are going to do is take a simple function that you can think of. Let's just say x squared, okay? And you can draw easily, and okay, just like the parabola quadratic as usual. Okay, and then you can try. Okay, and then, okay, this is our usual function. Now, if we think, oh, sorry. If we try to make this two okay, and we are probably in one, once upon a time, we have confused. This is left, right, or, or this is right, or, or, or which one is it? Then we can just try to, 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 to expand this function and perhaps you know how to find the roots, find the vertex, right? You can try to do that, okay? And I think that's the, the easiest way to confirm whether it's going to the left or right, okay? So if you have this, then you will have the x squared minus 2x uh, plus 1. This x squared plus 2x plus 1. Okay. Negative 2 and 2 divided by 2, 
right? To A. If you don't remember, don't worry. We can just look at this. Okay. The one that makes this zero is one, right? The one that makes this zero is negative one, which means this one will be here, right? Yes. So it means that the graph is going to the right. Okay. If this is negative one, which means it's going to be here. So it's going to be left. Okay, is, is, is it easy enough to pr just to prove when you, whenever you feel maybe lose focus or maybe in a really mess in your head? Okay, just try that. Okay, try that. So we will have this uh, plus one here, negative one here. So you will have another your your functions moving around this. Oh, that makes okay, and then going here. Okay, so that's this one way to prove or to check, okay, a really quick left or right. So when we have this B x plus three, we know that it's going to left. But of course, since this is we have only four options, and we know that we can count one, two, three, and there's no other three, and so of course that will be our, our best options <laughs> either way. And then the other one, the x minus two is three, okay? Uh, I hope you, you get the horizontal vertical shifting, okay? Okay. Okay, what else? Okay, let me let me give Okay, uh, let me check. Do I have. Okay, maybe check this one first. Okay. Okay, I think we can, we can know for sure the vertical one is where we have discussed, so you know how. This is the horizontal also. Uh, we can also have a combination, for example, the number 11. Uh, a and B. Okay. You see that we have horizontal, horizontal shift going to the right five, okay, and then going to upward two, okay, and this going to the left one unit and then going down one unit. I think that's okay. Now we are going to look on nine and ten. Okay. What's happening on nine A? What's happening on 9A? F negative X. And then you look at B, we have 3 F of X. Now, to know which one, okay, let me make this, like, uh, remark this too. And, okay, let's take some time to confirm this too. Okay, first is 
the um, maybe let me make the just random function f like that oh maybe too long maybe make it shorter okay well we can reflect this f going over here and reflect through x axis going over here uh, but I think maybe line is not a good option. Maybe make it a little bit curvy. Okay. Let me change a bit because it, it's supposed to be the same thing if we have line. So let me make a little bit curvier like that. Okay. So we can have, uh, let me make with a dash like this. And we have this as well. If we reflect to the y axis, what is really happening? If this is f of x, these are going to be f and negative x. Okay. okay. The very easy or simple um, observations at glance is x squared. Okay, it's, it's very, very simple. Every negative x you put in the x squared is just another x squared, which means you have the same thing on your left part on, on, from your um, function. So if you have the positive here, your negative will be also the same. You have no mirror with x squared. So you can have uh, uh, your functions reflected through the y-axis, okay? Okay. So that will be, or the rest is, this will be negative f of x. Or, or we could check x squared, okay? Check using x squared. If we have x squared going here, if we reflect to x-axis, that will be here, right? It's the negative x squared, isn't it? Yes. Right? Okay, that, that's a very, I think, very practical way to, to confirm, okay? But that's, that's my, my suggestion. That's my suggestion. If you have, if you have others, that, that's okay. But my suggestion that it's pretty, because I think x squared is, I think, a really simple function, right? Okay. You know, it's just like, like that. And you know that it's, it's already an even function. You have a pretty symmetric functions and uh, you can know for sure if you put a negative x inside it's just the same x squared okay so this you can reflect to the y axis and you can reflect to x axis i hope you get to my point i hope you get my point okay so you could check or oh, maybe let me write in notes here you could check uh, you could check y equal x squared and then reflect it to x-axis and y-axis. So number A means, or line A means that we are going to reflect through y-axis. And number 10A is going to reflect through the x-axis. Okay, and then the B. We have three of f of x and one of us three f of x. Okay. And how how do we know? Again, in the practicality, I believe trying uh, try some x through some functions is better for your visualization, right? So you could check again x squared. Try to multiply x squared. 3x squared, so you have uh, 
for example, okay, for example, you have x, you have x squared, you have 3x squared, okay? This is when you are not really familiar with um, the graph or uh, the numbers itself. So you could check from 1, 1, and then it's become 3. You check 2, 4, and it's become 12. You could check 3, 9, it's become 27. So we will have some multiplication of 3, which means at the same x, 1, 2, 3, we are going to have some changes, right? Before it's 1, that's going to go up, become 3. So when you have in visuals in the... So this is your x squared. So when you have one, let me say one here, or maybe one, it's not really close, maybe closer, closer. So this is one, one, this is x squared. Okay, and then we have, uh, maybe make it green. It's three, it's going to be uh, two, three, maybe around here, okay? So you see the the graph is, is getting faster or increase faster, right? Or increase three times faster. So when you have two, it should be four, it should be and a 12. So it should have this, you, you get a s more slimmer. You, you get, this, your graph is slimmer. Well, if you, I don't bring one, uh, if you have a, a, a rubber band, you, you, you imagine that's your curve, and you, 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 you stretch the, the, the rubber, okay? Imagine this is what's happening here. So you stretch with a factor of three, okay? A multiplication factor of three, that's what's happening. Okay, so well, maybe let me write here. This reflect two y axis. This is reflect two x axis. Okay. This is stretch. Stretch uh, vertically. Okay. By uh, factor three. Okay, now what happened with when we have the 1 over 3? So we have, if we have 1, it's become 1 over 3. If we have 2, what will happen? It should be 4 over 3, right? So what, what, will, what will happen? Well, if, you, if we take this into our uh, another table, This is 1 over 3, 4 over 3, 3, okay? So 1 over 3 is um, 1 over 3 may be around here. So it may be here, okay? And 4 over 3 may be around here. Okay, so maybe it's going, yeah. It's like a flower. Okay, maybe maybe like that. Okay, so this will be y negative three. Uh, one over three. Oh, y cube. This is. Okay. So we could say for the yellow one, so imagine the rubber, okay? 
So instead of stretching, we are going to press or we shrink the rubber band. So we have like uh, getting extended to the sides, okay? So when we have rubber, we stretch and then we shrink for the yellow one, okay? So we say for the yellow curve, for the yellow curve, we shrink vertically by factor of 1 over 3. Okay. Okay, this is the transformation. Okay. At least most of it. Most. Of it. <coughs> so, uh, shifting, vertical, horizontal, uh, stretching, shrinking, uh, reflection, reflecting x, y. Um, yeah, that should be all. Most of. It. Yeah, I think all. All. Of it, right? all okay. okay. Maybe any question? Any question? Any question? I'm, I'm giving you some, some practical tips, but if you have another tips on your own, and you think that maybe it's, it's okay, it's better, it's okay, it's fine. Okay, this is just it's my, my personal opinion. Uh, sometimes when you are not really familiar, like drawing a graph, okay, it's, really, it's okay if you just take your time to make a table just to prove that, okay, this is correct. Okay. It's, it's okay. okay. But I know some students already familiar with graphs. You can do directly graphing and make your conclusion. That's also okay. This table is just to, to make sure, confirm for those of you who are not really familiar making a graph. Okay. You can plot the graph uh, one by one through, uh, through your value here, table values. Uh, I think that should, should be okay. Uh, I believe uh, your mathematics is not decided by your b curriculum background. Okay? I, I know some of you are different, came from different different uh, curriculum background, but your your mathematics, your skills, is different from your knowledge. It's very different. Mathematics teach you how to use your logic, not use your knowledge. Of course, use your knowledge, but in mathematics, it's more of your logic, your, your logical thinking, your logical reasoning. Okay? So as long as you know how to use your logic or your, your reason, I believe you are going to be fine for most of your courses. Okay, for your, most of your courses, because uh, undergraduate, the uh, the expectations is not it's not really specific that you need to be able to do this blah blah blah. Your GPA should be this this this. No no. There are several several. Uh, it's a like a minimum minimum. Um, standard that you should be achieved. And I believe most of you will achieve that. Okay. Hopefully. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think I think we can go to 
Do you still have trouble on inverse? Do you still have trouble on inverses? Finding the inverse. Do you have trouble on that? I think for your homework, most of you, I think, did a good job. I believe most of you got, I think, uh, correct process. Not really. There are a few mistakes, but I think that's this mistake on calculation. Not really on like the whole process is wrong now. I think just a few mistake on signs and I think that's still okay. If no, I will go through the next uh, chapter, okay, if you don't mind. Okay. Okay, so for about uh, 30 to 40 minutes, let me just go through a new chapters that is about the uh, polynomials, okay? Oh, by the way, in, in the beginning, in my introductions, if you remember and if you join the, uh, the online class, the introduction one, I mentioned the, uh, the PBL class. I think for now, PBL will be, I will move all PBL to the end of semester. I think we'll be okay. So uh, we can focus on uh, videos, content, and our class, okay? our lectures. Okay. So we are going to start with the polynomials. Uh, polynomials. or to be com uh, complete we polynomials and rational functions. So we are going to take this into function terms, okay? So polynomial function, of course, is a function which with, with the polynomial expression, okay? Uh, usually we take the expression by p of x like this okay. and normally the general terms will have so a is a constant and how many constant we have according to the degree of the polynomials Okay, this is this is we call the, the the general expressions or polynomial function of degree n. Okay, or maybe it should be on the top. Sorry, be here. Maybe going down here. Writing in digital notes is, I think, really helpful. <laughs> if you make a mistake, you can just erase. <laughs> yeah, because when I was in your uh, age, I'm, <laughs> I've, I have struggled with papers, pen and paper. <laughs> and every day I need to bring back the books, notes, Okay, so if n is equal to zero, then we just have a constant, right? If n is equal to one, we have a, a linear functions, right? Linear function. Now if n is equal to two, now we have Let's say a x squared plus b x plus c equal uh, 
we, um, maybe let me let me make this a little bit here and we say that this is our quadratic functions okay now let's start with these quadratic functions okay the one that I believe you guys are already familiar with this right so quadratic function is polynomial function of degree 2 and of course, to make these polynomials works, uh, the constant a should not be zero. And I believe the quadratic functions is can be modeled in uh, in in many many uh, mm. phenomena. Right in in real world phenomenon. Okay, now the standard form. Okay, the standard form. The standard form, if we have. a x minus h squared plus k okay if we look on the quarter functions if you do just look at a b and c if we take b and c to be zero we are going to have a x squared if a is one we have our typical x squared right we know how to draw the x squared right okay now if we rewrite the forms and we take another expression a and then we have x minus h squared plus k okay before i'm going to give you a little visualization through graphs you know how to transform your functions, right? Minus means going to the right. Okay. So H will is is your transformation horizontally, going to the right H units. Okay. And then plus going up K units. Okay. So this is well, if you take a equal one to make it easy, because if not, then you need to multiply with that. But let's say let's say we are focused on h and k. Okay, so this will be if we imagine the x squared, and let's say we are going to have this. Okay, we are going to the right of h unit. Okay. And we are going up for k unit, okay? So that's why we have a vertex here. That is our positions of hk, okay? So actually, mathematics is really connected from all perspectives. So I hope you get the point that mathematics is not just memorization for, 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 for many, many formulas. Because you can connect this to any, 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 any perspective in mathematics, right? You can connect this to your transformation functions, and you know that okay, this is a, we we transform this. We move from here, go here, and then go up. Okay, and we know that okay, we can look at the point here. Okay, so when we have this form, we know for sure that h and k is our vertex point. And remember, how to get this expression, we call this completing the square. And I believe I have told you this, I think, a few weeks ago, completing the square. Okay, so this is for uh, the graph when, when A is positive. 
if you have a is negative, then it's it's just say that you 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 are multiplying with negative. They have x squared. What's your negative? You reflect it through x axis. Okay, it's another transformation. So when you have a less than zero, you will have this shape. The parabola is different shape. Okay, it's upside down. Okay, so you have. Maybe let me write here. <clears throat> H, this is K. Okay. This is this is the same, the same structure. But this is for a is less than zero. The same vertex h k. Now we can start by an example. Okay. Let, let me write example first here. F of x. Uh, example. 2x squared minus 12x plus 13. So I think I think our class uh, will be uh, better to have like I give you content in the video uh, maybe one or two videos like every week and then the third the third one we have the class like this to review and which part that needs need to be emphasized and in between those videos I give you also the homework is to check and okay, just to check your, your uh, and I think the homework just like last time maybe just six five six questions that uh, uh, Really, really important and uh, important chapters or sections that need to be uh, emphasized and need to be taught in class as well. Okay, now I have this. Uh, if you cannot see, let me make it bigger. Two x squared minus twelve x uh, plus thirteen. So first, first. If you want to sketch this, okay. Well, the first option that you can, you can sketch. You can go through your <laughs> GeoGebra or any graphing calculator easily, and you can have your own graph easily. It, it, we can do that uh, now nowadays. But if not, if not, one way to to sketch this easily without any plotting points is. To rewrite the form, rewrite the form, make it in a complete square, and you can get the vertex, and you will get this, the, the, the graph by a transformation. Okay. You can transform from your x square, multiply with something, you shift it horizontally, shift it vertically, and that's your graph. Okay. At least that's in, in, in our mind, okay, the process in our mind. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we can we can start with the uh, the completing square. So we can start with let's try to start with this. So x squared minus six x plus thirteen. Okay, let me start from that. Okay, let me start from that equations okay now we are going to express this x squared minus 6x in terms of uh, completing the square okay so we are going to have 2 x squared minus 6x and then something here and then plus 13 Okay, how to complete the square? 
we define this constant 6 by 2 and it's squared. So 6 by 2, 3, 3 squared is 9, plus 9. Why? Why? Because we want to have a perfect square. Okay? When we have plus 9, we can make this x minus 3 squared. Okay? That's how. I think I, I, I already mentioned the completing square uh, previous section, in the previous, previous weeks, right? So plus 9, okay? When we plus something into our equation or into our function, if we just plus this, can we do this? No, right? We need to make it balanced because our original equation is just this. If we plus this, 9, to, so we plus 18, we change our function, okay? So, so we plus and then we minus, okay? We plus and minus to make it balance, okay? So plus 18 and minus 18, okay? Now we can write this to x minus 3 squared and we have minus 5. Now this is the same function. This is the same function f. But we rewrite in the perfect square. Okay. So we call this completing the square because the result is a perfect square. Okay. Okay, now we can get that the vertex is 3 and negative 5. Okay. So from here, vertex is 3, negative 5. Remember, the original expression is x minus h plus k. Okay. So we are, we are having the x squared. We have uh, stretching particularly by factor of two. Move to the right three units. Move downwards five units. That's how you you get the the uh, the position of your um, graph. Okay. Well, to make sure the graph also, we need to make sure we get the intercepts, okay? We get the intercepts. So we can find the intercepts. So y intercept is when we have f zero and from what we have is we get 13. So 13 is our uh, y-intercept. Uh, X-intercept, this is when f of x is equal zero. So we are going to take our equations. Well, we could take our equations, f of x, this is going to be equal to zero. So we are going to have or x minus 3 is square root of 5 over 2 and x is plus minus don't forget 3 plus minus square root of 5 over 2 
this is just to make sure we, if you want to make uh, make sure the points okay. okay let me write here some notes that this is uh, x squared uh, stretch particularly by factor of two shift uh, to the to the right shift to right three units shift to or shift downwards five units Okay, uh, I think I just need to take um, one more sections and then I think we can finish the class. Okay. <coughs> if you feel maybe you need more discussion on some uh, well, some chapters or some sections, just let me know. Yeah. Like maybe to review which, which chapter. Okay, I hope you finish the notes. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I will wait. If you want to write down the notes. Is my uh, speed okay? Okay, not, not too fast, not too slow. <coughs> but if you feel maybe uh, maybe too slow, maybe you can speed up. <laughs> okay. Okay, the <coughs> computing square, my suggestions is one, um, one skill that really helpful, and one skill that really helpful, even in your in your calculus will be really helpful. Okay, so keep in mind. Keep in mind. And the way you solve the quadratic equations, usually if you have this, then probably you will go to the the quadratic formula. The, a, B, C, D, P squared minus 4 A, C, blah, 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 right? But I think if you can do this, I think it's maybe not really much calculation. Not, not really, that's much. But the quadratic formula is, well, it's really powerful. Okay, so you, you can get your answer there. Okay. Now, uh, one more section is about the maximum minimum value in the quadratic functions. Okay, so max, maximum or minimum value of a quadratic uh, function. Okay. okay, this will be the last last content for today's class. Okay, let me just give you the uh, the picture. So let me make this K and H similar with the previous graph. Also similar graph. Okay, and then this part. Okay, so from previous graph, we have this. Okay. 
we call the one that is having this point here, the perfect here, we call this as an impact on the minimum value. And this has a maximum value, okay? So we call this minimum. And this maximum. So this is if A is positive, so minimum value is the vertex, it's its own vertex. And similarly, when you have A uh, negative, the maximum value is the vertex. Okay. This is if you have the the form a x minus h plus k, right? Or you can write the form at the top here to make it clear that this should be the form. Okay. Now, if we have uh, the functions in terms of ax squared plus bx plus c, now we could directly get the maximum and minimum point, okay? It's actually from, from uh, the lecture that I proved the quadratic formula. From there, we can complete the square, and you will see that we can also get the perfect. And the conclusion is that from here, the minimum or maximum value is when when x is equal negative b over 2a, okay? So when x is equal negative b over 2a, we will get maximum or minimum value, okay? So if, if the uh, a is positive, we will have minimum value. When A is negative, we will have a maximum value, okay? So maximum is, uh, we can also maybe writing the F, okay, with, with the X, negative B over 2A. A little example, and let me write on the sides so you can still have uh, time to write the notes. If you have f of x, well, let me just write notes um, just to make sure that we we are on the same page. This is what I mean. So we take our time to complete the square. <clears throat> okay. And then this will be Okay, maybe let me write in the C minus A B squared for A squared, right? And we can write this in terms of B over 2A squared. 
and then plus C minus B squared for A. So this will be the H and this will be the K. Okay. Okay, up until here. Okay, finish. Okay. Uh, Too small. Uh, including C. So if you uh, uh, if you want to try to play with the formula, uh, because I, I believe uh, when I was still I think senior high, we, I, 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 the teacher just gave me the formula. Okay, this is to find the vertex. This is to find the roots. Blah 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 blah. And without knowing the reason how and why, but but I think it's better to to start with the fundamentals and looking at the. If we look from here, now we know that okay, the the, the formula for the vertex that is negative b over two is from here. It's x minus h plus k, that is our transformation, right? Our transformation of the functions. And we get easily the vertex out of the, uh, completing the square of this ax squared plus bx plus c, okay? So I hope from, from, from this uh, procedure, this steps, uh, whenever you find, maybe you, you, you need to prove something, you need to uh, make, well, in, in exam or in any, any uh, any math or engineering problem, you know how to start with, okay? You know how to start with, okay? Okay. Okay, if there's no other questions, well, uh, as usual, I have a small game, so can just, just uh, feedback questions. <laughs> okay, I hope you don't mind. Okay, wrong presentations, which one? Okay, this will be the last session for today's class. Uh, we were, we are going to. Well, the question is, I think, uh, about the function. And hope still remember. Okay. <laughs> well, you can open your notes if you want to know the details. We have difficulty scanning through the QR code. You can go to. The uh, 4309-0363 for the code. Um, I think some professors, they also using this kind of platform, but I think not the method method, maybe the slide. I, I think so. Maybe you, you haven't yet met the professor. <laughs> maybe when you meet the professor, they will sometimes using this slide. And sometimes that is also for your the exam as well.
at least your your, your activity, okay? In case yeah, you, you didn't win anything, I still write your student ID, okay? I still count that as an activity score. <laughs> Okay, let's start the game right now. I hope the time is okay. I hope the time is okay. If it is too small, I think you need to look on your phone screen. It's too small. I give around two minutes. Yeah, around two minutes. Well, not really two minutes. Yeah, one minute, 30 seconds. Remember, how to prove that they are inverses? Okay, how to prove that? <laughs> so sometimes I'm giving this feedback. Aside from getting uh, the feedback from the students, I also want to trigger your your um, problem solving and how to uh, how to compute or process the question. <laughs> If it's inverse, when you put f into g, it should be equal to x. Okay, that's one way to think. Okay? Instead of looking one by one. Okay? So you can put f to g or g to f, it should be equal to x. And it's, it's not. So it's, it's not an inverse. Okay? Okay. Seven. Who is seven? Who is number seven? Oh, okay. Good. Uh, question two. <laughs> okay. We just discussed at the beginning of the class. I think in the middle of the class. Right? Well, it's, it's less than one minute. G is the red one, okay, red one. G is the red one. The original one is the blue one, the absolute X. Absolute value. Okay. 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 I think. I think. Is it too easy? <laughs> no. Okay. 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 <laughs> yeah. One way to shine in the class through this activity. Okay. One way to shine. Either you are lucky or you are good enough. <laughs> well, I hope it's good. I hope. I hope it's good. I hope it's good. Okay. Get ready. Okay, which the statement, which of the following statement is true based on the graph? Less than one minute, maybe too fast, but it's just to keep the pressure on.
<laughs> Sorry if this is too fast. Okay. I want to give one minute something, but because this last question, maybe you make it faster. <laughs> Is the winner? Oh, which one? Who? Oh, okay, good. <laughs> okay, uh, last one is the our attendance. Okay, please write again your student ID just to confirm that you are attending my courses. And maybe if you have any suggestions to our class, okay. have you done? And we will we will finish. Okay, the class is finished. And thank you for joining. Okay. So next week, I think I will be giving you the video, like usual. Okay. Okay.